Hey guys, it's Lisa here again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change your PDF files that you have into workable documents with Google Slides and Nimbus. I know that since we've all been working from home, it's been a little difficult. We have all these great resources, all these wonderful PDF worksheets that we've had saved on our drives that we've been using with our kids because we have access to print them and just hand them out in class. So if you have all of those and you're trying to figure out how to use those with your kids and upload them to Google Classroom or any other platform that your district might be using, today I'm going to show you how to do that. So like I said, you're gonna be doing that using Google Slides and an extension called Nimbus. This is the symbol for Nimbus right here. Up in the corner, you can see my little icon. Okay, if you do not have that, you might wanna download it. Now, basically what Nimbus is, is it's kind of like a snipping tool. And I know a lot of computers come with that. I also know that many of you are probably thinking, oh, I can just hit control print screen, um, which is basically the computer's equivalent of taking a screenshot. However, I find personally that when I do control print screen or use my computer snipping tool and then try to expand the document to a workable size, that it gets super blurry. Um, so much so that it's not really usable. So with the Nimbus, I personally feel that more of the documents come out clearer. So here we go. I'm going to go into present mode here, okay, and just to save time, I already have a link here to a KWL. That was a free PDF that I found. Okay, oh, I love this. Okay, my KWL chart, how many of us use those frequently? Okay, you just wanna make sure that you get it so that you're able to view all of the section that you would like to use with your students. So this is perfect right here. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the top, I'm gonna click on my Nimbus icon, and then I'm gonna to go to selected area. So you could do entire page. Okay, there are a bunch of different things you could do with this, but I'm just gonna select a certain area and I'm gonna come up to the top. And I'm gonna stretch it down to the bottom here. Okay, and if I'm happy with what I had just selected, I'm gonna hit save. You're gonna see down here at the bottom. I already had done that earlier. Okay, and it's showing me how it would save to my computer. You can see right here, I already have it saved, so I'm not gonna do it again. Okay, I just wanted to show you. I'm gonna go back to my Google slide right here, and I have an empty slide. So all you have to do is hit insert, image. I'm gonna upload it from my computer, and I'm gonna upload the one that I had done earlier. So if you look here, KWL, okay, it'll pop, pop up and then I'm going to stretch it. I'm not going to stretch it right now. Again, I want to save time. You know, everyone's time is very valuable. Here it is. All right, so now, still I'm not able to write on it. At this point, all you have to do is come up, click the option for a text box, and you're going to insert a text box anywhere you would like your students to be able to write. So there's one, there's another one, Okay, you can put one in the third box as well. Now when you click back into it or when your students click into the boxes, they're going to be able to write in it. Now what you can do is you already have this saved to your, your drive. When you log into Google Classroom, you're just gonna upload it as any other assignment, making sure that you choose the option for each student to have a copy. This way they all have their answers on their own copies. And that is basically it. It's not so hard. But now all of those great resources that we had when we were in the buildings, you're now going to be able to convert and access from home. I really hope that this video helped all of you. Please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And if you have videos that you want for me to make, please comment down below, okay? I hope everybody is safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.